name's Drew Vanders. Welcome back to my Valheim Let's Play. Today's episode, I'm going to be going mining for some copper so I can be able to upgrade the rest of my upgradables and then be able to make some smithing upgrades or whatever which one it is. I think it's this one, the workshop upgrades, so I can be able to upgrade like my cape and whatnot. I also got a box of cookies right next to me in case if I die. You know, I got, you know, only five cookies last time, but now I have the box of cookies next to me. There's not very many cookies left. It's very possible I might run out of cookies this episode. I mean, I don't think so. There's there's enough for the episode as long as I don't die like 10, 20 times. Okay, I've arrived at this little station over here. This is where I want to make like a little, like, outpost base so I can sleep and come back here and then put down a whole bunch of crap. Because even along the way over coming over here, there was stuff sitting there. There was a shaman over there. I'm gonna skedaddle inside of the hue so I don't have to deal with him. Well, no, I, I'm gonna have to fight him. He's he's caught up too far. But these guys aren't too hard. But there is a second one and I'm poisoned. He just put poison in my butthole and I am not appreciative of that at all. Okay, now I set up a bed and I'm able to sleep, be able to make it daytime and make it safe. I'm super tempted to eat a cookie right now, but I'm saving them. I'm trying my best to save them for whenever I die. Okay, I just found a copper deposit right here next to there and it's raining. I hate that. I don't want it to rain. It's just an awful situation to have happen. But anyways, it is time to start mining out this copper deposit. And I think I'm going to be cop mining it out in a very special way so I can mine out everything because it's not next to the water so I can be able to do that. And there isn't a whole lot of it exposed to the sky. So I think I'm going to take my time and mine it out properly so I can go pretty far down and then mine out a whole bunch of it and possibly hope myself while doing so. A few minutes later. So I think I just found a tip. For uh, mining out these copper uh, deposits, if you mine down super deep and start mining into them, you can put down a campfire and it gives you a rested bonus. It's not, it's not like it's a super big tip, but it's a decent tip. But the main reason why I think it's such a good tip is that if you look at my stamina, it just went sh shooting straight up after I was done. And I just ran out of my pickaxe, so I'm going to gather up all this stuff, put it inside that base over there, make sure I can, like, Either repair these pickaxes here or go back to the base and delivering some stuff uh, on the while. I need to I need to repair my axe, so I definitely will go back to the base. Man, this is one of the ugliest looking bases I have ever seen. But it is functional, and that is how we need it. So that's how I'm going to leave it. I might build it up later to make it look nice at some point in the future when it's not a usable fob anymore, but at that point, uh, I might fix it. I might not, honestly. But I might get the, uh, the finish, you have to kill the Eldu Force to be able to make sure that happens. Well, I made this little wood platform right here. I had to relocate the campfire. But to make it just so I can make it so I can easily get up in here way faster. Because efficiency is everything. Okay, I'm taking some of this, this crap with me. And I'm going back to my base so I can be able to repair my axe. Because my axe is my, my main form of protection, and I need to be able to protect myself. And along my way, I'm going to be sort of clearing this path out a little bit, so that I can be able to get a cart go through here. Because that's my main plan, is to be able to have a cart go through here, to be able to pick up all the stuff that I don't really want to carry all at once. And the cart is probably one of the most useful things, having the three times resources. There's just, I've just littered so much stuff up on the ground. But it's okay, this is this is a video game, it's not the real planet. But if it was, it wouldn't change a thing. It's the planet's on f***ing fire! Well, I came back to the base, repaired all my stuff, and the copper that I bring with me, I put all the stuff in at night, before I went to sleep, because it became nighttime, and I was able to get it all smelted up really quickly, which is fantastic. This is exactly how you were meant to play this game. And that means I might be able to get um, a whole bunch of uh, stuff crafted, a whole bunch of bronze. And by a whole bunch, I only mean five bronze. And with the five bronze, I can make it in a days, but I'm having a lot of trouble being able to play. I can place it right there, it works. But I think I might have to expand this out a little bit if I want to make any more crafting station improvements. And now the workbench is at level 4, which means I can start upgrading all my stuff into a higher level, which is going to be great. Well, I was only able to upgrade my bow, because I seem to not have any more troll hide anywhere. Maybe I used it up all in the last episode. I'm not really exactly certain where the troll hide is, and I'm not, you know, trying to fight a troll this episode. But if, I mean, if it happens, it happens. You know, I sure hope there isn't a limit to how much stuff can be on the ground, because 
I am putting a heck of a lot of stuff on the ground and just leaving it here. Because there's just so many trees that are just in the pathway. I need I need to make this pathway ready for uh, a cart so I can be able to cart through here. And that means I'm going to get more wood than what I am at really want. There's a whole bunch of extra trees getting damaged as well. So I mean like there's all, just a whole bunch of stuff that's like in the way. And it causes other stuff to have to be removed because it needs to be cleaned up as well. Like, both of those trees need to be gone. And it, they give me so much resources, it's kind of ridiculous. Getting three times resources is has a difficulty of an, in and of itself. Because, like, there's so much stuff to gather, like, pick up off the ground. And I don't have enough, like, capacity weight to be able to, like, deal with all of it properly. So, I mean, the time to consume isn't from hitting down the materials, it is from picking up the materials and bringing it to a desirable location. Because I'm not chopping wood to chop wood because I need wood, I'm chopping wood because this stuff is in my way. Well, this log is stuck in this tree, so that means this tree also has to be removed. At least I thought it was in that tree, but it looks like it's in that tree over there instead. And it's in this tree as well! And now there is a little bit of a clearing right here because there was like six trees right next to each other and they just hit each other and knocked each other down and I had to clean them up and led me to more cleaning up, led me to more cleaning up and now there's a whole bunch of cleared, cleared. Screw it, I'm not fighting very hard enemies, I'm gonna eat a cookie. Well, just making my way over here, really did a big number on my axe so I might have to go back to the base soon but I think I should just do some mining anyways. And you can never forget to reset your spawn point in case you die over here. A few moments later. Oh, that's a skeleton. I did not expect you to come up behind me like that at all. Okay, all three of my pickaxes are now dead. And this is as far as I have gotten for all of this. It's it's quite a bit further, but it's not completely all the way around like how I like it to be. But we're not done yet. Okay, I definitely want to get my axe repaired again. So I'm going to grab some of these and definitely make my way over to the base to be able to drop some of this off and be able to get all the everything good up and dandy. And there's a, there was definitely a lot of stuff like these are all in like different stacks so like there's 24 there there's seven there's there's quite a bit of a whole bunch of different random stuff just laid on the ground all the way over through here but I think everything's cleaned up along the path for the most part so I won't be having to damage my axe on the way over making sure everything's all cleared up pathways for the cart 11 minutes later now this is probably some of the most dangerous part of mining copper is mining stuff that is directly below you with the gap beneath you. Really? This is definitely the way how you're supposed to mine copper and take a little bit of fall damage. I have died doing this before. Not not in this series, because I would sh definitely show you it to you. But I have not died from it yet in this world. Well, I've completely run out of my pickaxes again for the third time. This is how far I've gotten. I've gotten, I'm pretty close to making it so I can get it for the entire thing to all just crumble down all at once. Which is definitely something I, I want to do, because it's, it's really satisfying to watch it happen. And also to be the cause of why it happens. Five minutes later. That there is a two-star gray dwarf. Oh, his rock that was poor. I should eat my meat. Oh, he's too scared to come over here because of the fire is right there. Which is honestly really great. Oh, he definitely hurts. He hurts a lot. Oh, man. You don't want that. If I got hit by that rock, I would have definitely just died. Get down here, you coward! Chicken, chicken! There we are. Now you're dead. He just pooped full of materials too. Later that same evening. Man, there's another blue gray dwarf. I don't think the forest really likes what I'm doing. I'm I'm vaping its resources, and I don't think it really much appreciates that. But I don't appreciate it putting a whole bunch of enemies right behind me trying to stop what I'm doing. And I put a campfire right there, so they're too afraid to even enter this area, my little work station, and they can't even get to me while I'm doing this. Work smarter, not harder. Oh, dude, I just got everything to break. Nice. Nice, I was totally wasn't expecting that. I was totally planning on quitting from this and then like once my pickaxe broke and I have one little tiny sliver left until it's broken. I totally did not expect it all to break down right there. And now we just got an entire copper thing mined out and it only took me like an hour and a half. Five minutes later. I finished collecting all the copper from the ground and this is how much we got plus the 44 that I've already taken to the base. We got an entire chest full of wood plus uh, this much as well. And then for the stone we got two entire chests full plus mostly another chest full 
of stone, and I don't think I'm gonna be taking the stone back to the base because I don't really need stone back in the main base at all. Not until I decide to start building with stone. And I won't start building with stone until after the Elder is defeated, and I have no idea where the Elder is. I think that's the next top thing on my to-do list is to be able to find the Eldu and kill him. And I'm definitely gonna add in a whole bunch of cheese onto it, make it a big fat quesadilla to kill the uh, the Eldu. And I'll show you what I mean by when once we get to that point of the series, however long away from now that might be. Well, now I'm gonna take this cart and I'm gonna cart it back all the way over to the over there-ish area and grab all the resources. Not all the resources, but a good chunk of them to put back in the main base. And this is definitely the perfect time to activate the Ikthu Powell, so I'm gonna be able to run much, much more while on the go this time. Which should be good for the cart, because the cart tends to have a whole lot of issues on non-flat ground and going up and down hillish areas. So being able to run up this hill like right here is gonna be is gonna make it a lot easier to get the cart through. I'm not seeing any of the resources that I left behind on the ground over here. I think that means that they all despawned. I mean, there's, I don't know if it's a time limit thing for items on the ground despawning or if it's like a distance thing or like a number thing. I'm not really exactly certain, but they definitely despawned. Okay, I got my cart and the inventory completely filled up with uh, copper and wood. So we're definitely ready to get on our way if I can get this cart in the right position. Now now we're good and we only have 14 seconds left of Ikthu and that's really disappointing because I might need him on the way back. And it is way harder to pull this now than it was to when it was empty than it was before. And oh no, the hills are going to be a huge issue aren't they? This is not going to go very swiftly. Oh no, we're stuck. We're totally stuck. This is not how I wanted it to go. I can smell the failure! Oh gosh, this is this is not good. I'm going to have to go off the path because I think the, the uh, off the path is more flat than on it. I'm moving and it is not moving. This is, this is not good. This is a good way to get your running skill up. I guess, but this is definitely take, gonna take way longer than I thought it was going to, to be able to get all this back. Maybe I should try like flattening the ground on my way, make it easier on myself, hopefully. Oh no, I think the cart's totally stuck. I can't move it at all. Well, let's try flattening the ground beneath it. Maybe that will help it. It looks like it just made it even more stuck. Failure! Because the wheel is just inside of the ground. I don't know how well you can see that right now, but the wheel is just halfway inside the ground. So I think we're gonna have to resort to destroying the uh, the cart to be able to get this to work properly because it's stuck in the ground and I can't move it and now I'm cold. I was worried that that destroyed it might have resulted in me losing some of my cargo, but it looks like it didn't have that effect. So now we're gonna get back onto the road again and hopefully not get stuck again, and I might be immediately stuck. Loser, loser. Man, this is a struggle to get this cart to go anywhere at all. It might be easier if I just abandoned the cart and took everything one by one in my inventory. Okay, now we're starting to get a little bit more distance than we were before. There was like a big pitfall over there or something that the wheels would just keep on getting caught on and I just was not able to get past it at all. And going downhill is a breeze, but going uphill, even the slightest little bit is just awful and terrible. And there's a shaman. He is definitely wanting to touch me, but I won't let him. And it is definitely nighttime, which is not the ideal time to be moving a cart around, but it is what the situation that is in front of us, and it is the situation I will deal with. And that hill does not look like it's a good hill to deal with at all. Oh no, I think we might be stuck again. This is not good. I do not like being stuck with a cart. Oh, it looks like we gotta go up this this side a little bit, a little bit better. Oh no, and now I'm just completely, now I'm falling back down, I've lost everything I just did. I think Operation Destroy Cart is a way. Just to be able to get it up above on this, this hill. Just this little hill is what destroys this cart, to being able to move it. A little 
tiny hill. Okay, I'm gonna remake the cart at the top of the hill, and hopefully I can be able to put all the resources inside of it that I need to, and all this stuff on the side of the road that the Great Rift drop is just useless. I don't want it at all. See, I'm able to walk with this heavy weight easier than I am to be able to use the cart with it. It's been almost 12 minutes since we left that base over there just to moving this cart. That's how, that's how bad it is to move a cart that has stuff inside of it. But we're going downhill and I think it's mostly downhill from here on out. I hope. If not, I don't, I don't know what I would do. And that there is a slight incline up, which means I think it might be better just to go off that way towards the base instead of following the path. Because I think that the natural terrain is a little bit, uh, uh, what's it called? More smooth? I don't really know if it is or not, but I sure am hoping that it is. Then that up over there. And I'm not too far away from the base to be able for me to go off the road. But this this is just like the worst. Trying to be able to go up even a small little mound with this much weight in your cart is just the worst. But we are here at the base with all the resources that we need that we had gathered today. And this cart is so slow, I definitely think it might be worth it just to not use the cart and be overweight the entire time we're carrying this because I think it is more effective that way. See, I'm mean, having a huge amount of trouble just even going up these stairs with the cart. Okay, I've unloaded all of the wood that we had from the cart as well as all of the uh, copper that I've gotten from the mine. And well, that's as much time as I am actually over time by like an hour. So I've been recording for about two hours. It literally took me half an hour to move, well, maybe a little bit of an exaggeration, but they get that cart from here over to there and back. It took me way too long. But if you guys enjoyed the episode, please like and comment down below. Be fantastic, give me a sub sandwich, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.